Kia ora all, and welcome back to another anti flutter takedown. Today, we're dealing with someone so stupid that they believe that New Zealand's history is false, they believe Australia's history is false, they're a sexist little bastard, they're a mud flutter, and they're a flat earther. So, wonder what his take on gravity is going to be. That's right, today we have Barabas Nagi and his reasons why gravity is a hoax. So let's look at uh, gravity, shall we? Gravity is strong enough to hold the oceans to a spinning ball, yet weak enough that birds can still fly. Wow, so we're off to a bad start now, aren't we? Birds can fly by means of aerodynamics. So the wings of a bird are shaped in such a way that allows for constant air pressure to go beneath the wing and low air pressure to move above the wing. This has actually been explained to you flatards hundreds of times. Credits to JM. This is what Isaac Newton said to Robert Hooke. I have not been able to discover the cause of those properties of gravity from phenomena and I frame no hypothesis, for whatever is not deduced from the phenomena is to be called a hypothesis. And hypothesis, whether metaphysical or physical, whether of occult qualities or mechanical, have no place in experimental philosophy. Nice quote mining there, buddy. Shall we put the rest of that text up, shall we? You see that part where it talks about the laws of motion and gravitation we discovered? What about that part that says, and to us, it is enough that gravity does really exist. Let's just leave this text up for a bit while you continue, so that everyone can see just how full of shit you really are. So, basically he's saying this is a philosophy, he cannot make a hypothesis, um, and so he didn't truly really believe in what he was saying about gravity. It is an assumption. Yeah, nah man. See, what Newton was trying to say is that gravity exists and it's calculatable. What he didn't want to do is hypothesize as to the substance of gravity. Look, it's also important to note that there was a feud between Hook and Newton, which started in 1672, before this letter was written, when Newton submitted a paper that claimed light to act as particles, which contradicted Hooke's thinking at the time. So Hooke, being the vindictive person that he is, organised a smear campaign against Newton. Now, do you really think Newton is going to give Hooke, his main rival, all of his ideas? And we can see again uh, in Wikipedia saying this, under an assumption of constant gravitational attraction and so on, is an assumption and Newton knows it, knew it, and scientists know it. Although Wikipedia can be a great place for basic information, I wouldn't be recommending it as your primary source, mostly because anyone can mess with it. Also, if you're going to quote mine, I recommend you get a little bit more practice in there, buddy, because I found your Wikipedia page. Links in the description. And in the meantime, Here's the rest of the paragraph that you quote mind. Now, if you had read that whole Wikipedia page, which I know you had to because your quote was halfway down, you would understand why we can assume a gravitational constant. But Barnabas is too dishonest to represent it properly. And no one has to assume gravity because we know gravity to be there. Okay. Gravity is an assumption they want to explain something and there is a greater deception why they want to make a theory of gravity although it can be easily explained by density oh for fuck's sakes i wonder what deception you're talking about also density does play a part in gravitational attraction but i'm going to assume it's not in the way that you think so imagine this, you look at gravity and say, 
it has a pulling power and um, the oceans are tons of water and yet even though the earth is spinning right it keeps the waters intact stuck to it but birds can fly and we can walk and we can jump and so on now if i pull something i pull a 10 kilo card with the power and i pull a 100 kilo card with the same power both card will be pulled with the same power okay so if gravity pulls everything with the same power how come that it doesn't affect that little bird or you when you're walking okay that's actually a good question sort of the answer is gravity is affecting you what do you think drags you back to earth after you jump now as for the whole bird thing mate we've already covered that or gravity as they think it is is very intelligent he knows when to give when to pull with great power when to pull with less power that makes no sense whatsoever fucking hell that has to be one of the stupidest comments i've ever heard water being a liquid is held to the surface by gravity and it's contorted itself to fit its container in the case of the earth that would be the oceans, the lakes, the rivers, etc. Now the water isn't producing any upwards force. So why wouldn't it just stay stuck to the surface? Birds, on the other hand, use their wings to produce an upwards force. And then we're just back to fucking aerodynamics, aren't we? So what you can see here is density. Yes, everything in that picture has varying degrees of density because um, the density of the water is higher than air so it goes down on a flat earth and the density of the bird is although um, higher than air but he since he spreads out his wings he can fly on the air it captures the air and the winds Oh, for fuck's sakes. You really were going for dumb fuck of the air now, weren't you? So, the sea and the bird are more dense than the air, but because the bird can capture the air, it's no longer affected by your whole density hypothesis? No wonder you look so fucking confused as you said it. Okay. Now, look at the, look at the football. You try to throw up a, a football on the earth, it will go down. Why? Even though the air uh, inside the ball has the same density as the air outside of the ball, but the leather covering the ball has higher density, so it will come down. It will fall down. Take that same ball to the water and it will float because the density inside the ball, the air, is lower density than the water. Try to take that same ball down underneath the water and it will float up if you release it why because um again the air inside the ball is lower than the than the density of the water even though that there is this leather covering the ball the air inside is so um lower of density that it comes up yes the air inside the ball is less dense than the water but this isn't the only reason why it moves to the surface and floats see gravity is pushing down on the water and the further down you go the more compact it becomes giving the water its pressure now it's this pressure which forces the ball upwards until it reaches the surface or until it matches the pressure gradient now take a helium uh, loof balloon, balloon and release it and it will go up because the helium inside the balloon has lower density than air. It's a simple density mechanics. Exact same process as before, just replace water with air. So both of your examples are actually the result of gravity affecting the pressure gradients 
of both air and water. This is what um, Newton also said in his letter to Bentley, that one body may act upon another at a distance through a vacuum without meditation of anything else, by and through which their action and force may be conveyed from one another is to me so great an absurdity, absurdity that I believe no man who has in philosophic matters a competent faculty of thinking could ever fall into it. Fuck, again with the fucking dishonest quote mining. There. There's the rest of that passage. So what Newton's trying to say is, don't subscribe to inanimate gravity, but rather, gravity must be caused by an agent acting upon it. He has then left that up to interpretation by his readers, because even he knew that he didn't have all the answers. You dishonest little fuck. In other words, he thinks that if, it, if space not, has no meditation of anything else, as um, scientist tells us that there is nothing, it's a vacuum. Newton says that two bodies, like the, the, the Earth and the Sun, couldn't act upon another, and to think that they can is a great absurdity. That's not what he's trying to say, and you know it. You've taken a tiny section from a single paragraph out of a letter with eight paragraphs, and you've then tried to use that little section to misrepresent the entire paper. You dishonest bastard. So, I mean, <clears throat> you, you think that this is true? I mean, how could these two bodies gravitate to one another? I mean, this is a hoax. And, and you can just read what uh, Newton says. Um, yes, you can read what Newton said yourself. And then you can see just how much this prick is lying. Of course, they don't tell you this at school. He didn't believe himself. Um, he said it was an assumption. And um, he um, didn't think that this can work. No, you said it. Because you're a dishonest charlatan. Okay, so there is no gravity. It is all about density. And that's that's about it and density this kind of thing what we talked about and if there is no um, no gravity then there is no globe except there is gravity and thus a globe there is no globe because they want to try to, they try to tell you with this theory that that's why and the waters and everything can stick to the ball and you can stick to the earth and uh, not fall off because of gravity but if there's no gravity we know if there isn't it's a hoax but there is density then can be a globe because in a globe you would fall off right you would fall off holy fuck just when you think you couldn't get any dumber yes there is gravity, it has scientific theory and law which have been used to discover celestial objects before we could even see them. Now your hypothesis on density fell apart when we were talking about a bird. So that's Barnabas Nagy. He spends the last 30 seconds or so of his videos talking hoax this, flat earth that, and I'm just going to be fucked with it. If you want to watch it, the link's just down there in the description. But anyway, thanks for watching and making it to the end. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, that small button just down there that says subscribe, give that a little click. Um, and as always, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought. If you have anything else that you'd want me to take a look at, by all means, chuck it in there too. Um, until next time, ka kite. I was showing the door